orchestral violins, brass, woodwinds, orchestral percussion, these are the sounds we are looking for. But are these free versions any good? Yes, we think they are. We reviewed two different free sampled orchestras and were very impressed. So stay tuned to hear them in action. If you're looking for free sampled symphonic orchestral instruments, you should really hear these. We found two sets that are really worth downloading. The Sonatina Symphonic Orchestra and the Virgilian Standard Chamber Orchestra or VSCO2 Rompler. Both download as a zip file and after opening them you will find a DLL file and a folder with the sounds. All you have to do is copy or unpack the DLL file and the folder onto your computer's VST folder and you are ready to start your DAW. The Sonatina Symphonic Orchestra is the smallest of the two with a download of around 650 megabytes. You can choose out of 20 different sets of instruments like violin, viola, cello, bass, all kinds of wind instruments, a great choir, percussion instruments and the piano. And some of these sets have different sub-choices in it. The graphical interface and controls on this plugin are quite simple. An ADSR to control the attack, decay, sustain and release, but also panorama and volume. There is no reverb in it, but if you use it in your own DAW, you certainly will use the reverb of your DAW to spice the sounds up. Most sampled sounds are wonderful and very usable, but sometimes you have to tweak the release of the sound a bit to give the sound a more natural ending. And it's a pity that it doesn't show on what area of the keyboard the sounds should be played. But the most important thing is the sounds. So, before we go to the next orchestra, let's listen to some of the sounds of Sonatina. We must say that we added a small reverb from the DAW, but that's all.
VSCO2 stands for the Vazilian Standard Chamber Orchestra and has 2000 samples, 24 instruments, some of them with articulations and round robin samples. The download file is bigger than our previous orchestra, it is a 1.6 GB zip file. The graphical interface looks great. Again, here you see the ADSR and volume and panorama, but it also has a digital reverb. But if you use it in your own DAW, you might not want to use the built-in reverb. The big advantage of this plugin is that you can see on what area of your keyboard the instrument can be played. And the different articulations can be triggered by pressing the keys on your keyboard that correspond with the bright yellow keys at the left on screen. This makes it very easy to switch between sounds. You normally find this option only in the more professional plugins. This plugin has no choir, but in addition it has some church organ sounds. So how do these instruments sound? Let's play them with a little bit of reverb. On our website you will find all links to the downloads and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. 